Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Jose. Jose. Today we're going to explain you the basics of our oil pressure sensor and uh, the system. When the light comes on on the dash, when it doesn't come on on the dash, and I'm going to explain you how that sensor sends the signal to the, the dash light and when it comes on and when it goes away. So for the purpose of this video, is going to, I did this diagram and I'm going to show you and it's um, how this the the system works on a car and we scale it down to a basic just simple of the few components that are in the car but just in a small size so with that said let's get started to explain you how the pressure oil pressure sensor works on a car this is the oil pressure sensor diagram and this is how the system is pretty much the simple as i can get it so you can understand it so we got the basics, the battery. We got the engine block where the sensor is bolt on. And we got the ignition switch represented with this key, but we got a toggle switch representing that so we can power up this, this um, unit as our engine will run with the key. And also we got this represented, this, this uh, little light in the dash by this light, big light, which is not the original one. They're smaller light bulbs, but we represented it by this uh, bigger 1156 uh, light bulb with, with the wiring that we have. So the basics is that um, we have the engine. The engine is grounded from the battery. Everything that is the chassis and all the, the engine uh, block is grounded from the battery. So that automatically tells us that this sensor is going to be bolted into ground. So that's going to send negative. So the other part of it is that the switch on the ignition switch always sends power to whatever needs to be fed with positive. So that positive, it goes to the switch and the switch splits it to all the other components, relays, fuses, lights, everything uh, that needs to work uh, when the switch is on, everything's gonna work out of that switch. So with that said, we have our key, we have our engine and now, when does the light comes on and when it should go off? So you get on your car and you get your key and you put it in the ignition. You turn the key and the dash panels, uh, you turn it twice and all the dash panel comes on with even that light. So all the lights come on. So you have, we're gonna represent it with this toggle switch. You have turned on your, your dash. So it's on right now. This light is on, when does it go off? Well, that light should be turned off as soon as your engine starts running because that sensor is gonna start reading pressure and the pressure is gonna make that sensor to stop sending ground to this light bulb so this light bulb goes away so it doesn't light up anymore. So what does that happen? Now you got your engine running, I know I'm, so you turn on your engine, and as soon as you turn on the engine, we're representing that this block or the engine is grounded. So this is sending um, ground or negative to the light bulb when the uh, engine is not running because there's no pressure. So it has a closed circuit right now. So when we're representing the oil pressure with this paper clip, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit why. So. The engine got turned on and there's pressure behind this sensor. So this sensor stops sending ground to the light bulb. As soon as the oil drops or the pressure starts being weak, the light comes on. Even if the engine is running and you got low pressure, that light bulb is gonna turn on because there's not enough pressure behind it from stop from building up the, the, the pressure for pushing the mechanisms inside of this sensor to stop sending the power, so that the ground. So what it's doing is giving the negative to the light bulb. So it turns on in the dash and it tells you, hey, something's wrong with your oil. Because why? Because this sensor is reading low pressure or sometimes it's not even uh, reading any pressure at all. So it's giving you a light. 
So if this light comes on while our engine is running, that means that the, this sensor is reading low or this sensor is stuck and it's not working properly. But if that light never comes on also, even with the key open or key off. So for example, you open the key, you open your key, you open it, but that light, that's the only light that never came on. So there's something wrong with the wire from the light to the sensor. You got a break in there or there's no contact with this sensor or something is wrong with this sensor. Usually it's the, the connector. So you replace the sensor and now when you open your key, the sensor starts sending signal again. So now you got a fresh sensor that is sending signal. So you turn on the engine again, you got your ground to the block and the block to the sensor. And now when it's sending the ground to the light bulb, well, when you turn on the engine, it stops sending the ground because this is acting as a switch. It's killing the power as long as there's pressure behind this switch. You, you shut your engine down, you take your key out, that light should be off. Because why? Because you have canceled the power, the positive going into the switch that goes from there to the light. Yes, you still have, because there's no pressure, this guy's still sending ground, but you are missing the positive. So you automatically open the circuit or stop sending positive to the light bulb. Even if you got ground, you don't have positive from the switch. If you put the key in and you open it, this guy is, is all the time, as long as there's no pressure behind this or the block is not building pressure, even if the car is on, if there's no pressure at all, this guy is gonna keep sending ground all the time. But as soon as you get the key off, you stop sending positive. So that's how this system works. This system is meant to send positive to the light as soon as you open the switch and the switch or the, the oil pressure sending um, unit or sensor should be reading pressure all the time for it to make the light not turn on. If this is not reading pressure, that light is gonna, that light is gonna turn on. So this is how the system works. It's a really simple battery, ground sensor ground to the light bulb battery positive switch positive to the light bulb now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how this works we're gonna use the paper clip because this is the only thing that can fit on that opening of that sensor without damaging it and creating assimilating the pressure of the oil into the sensor so we open the key we're gonna do the same thing So now we got our dash light on, but we haven't turned on the car. Well, as soon as you get that engine running and starts building pressure, that pressure goes into that opening and it activates, it pushes a mechanism in there in. You see? That pressure is enough just to make this sensor to stop sending ground to the light bulb. As soon as the pressure goes away, the light comes on because this guy is, has grounded and he keeps sending that signal down to the light bulb, which is this wire going into the light bulb. So as soon as we build pressure, stop sending signal, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, and pressure and that's how the sen that's how the sen sensor works i got these uh clamps into this to simulate the wiring this is the ground on the engine and that's the wiring going into the light bulb on the dash well folks i hope this video was helpful and you found some of this information uh useful towards the, your, your next project and uh how this um oil pressure sensor works and how the light they both communicate with the switch and the battery and it's just pretty simple but on a car it can be complicated because there's a lot of stuff around it but this is how the basics is this is how this little system works when it's communicating from the sensor to the light 
and uh, to, uh, to tell you and let you know that there's a uh, problem with the oil. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the channel, Jose.